Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. Be a millionaire? Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Please let me steal his lottery ticket and then time travels. So I've still got the ticket and then like fucking win the lottery and then move out of the shit hole. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay and his. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Just walk, you lazy shit. Okay. Save our city. No. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. <laughs> Damn. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn well, more, okay. but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Run in the lake, grab a booth at the diner, mom will feed you. Cool. I wanna explore first. Yeah, it's not the thing that is at the school. Wait, 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 wait. Obviously, nobody took my advice. Yeah, it was. <laughs> There's that dirty RV from the other day. Doggy! Uh, stop that! Stop! No barky. Doggy! There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. I want to see the doggy. Can I throw a brick at the guy and then go see the doggy? I don't want to go that way. Yes, you do. Can I tell you something about the guy? No. I wonder if they explain the <laughs> snow. No. Oh, hello, man. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! That's a nice story. I would read it. How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a few years. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. This town is more like a mystery to me. You're young. You'll get over it. Great advice. Okay then. Nope, I don't want to go there. Yes, you do. Oh great, another homeless person. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once True. done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Like Same. anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a press card. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. 
Pale. They own your school, Black. You're dirty. Yeah, we know. Almost. Everyone knows. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same Damn, changes as the town. What happened to you? What didn't happen to me? Sometimes you start out in life, turn You're around innocent. the wrong Yeah, way. yeah, yeah, you keep telling yourself that. I'm very dumb. Made mistakes. Got cheated out of my savings. Lost my home. And now, I hang out here. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. Good chat. I have to go now. Goodbye. Dougie! Yes. Yes. Oh. That's creepy. Milk. Okay. Let's go get some food. Yeah, Chloe put these posters everywhere. The sound of clanging silverware Ugh, makes me feel 13 again. Did you talk to a homeless woman? Yes, I did. Coming up at noon, K Bay 7 News will explore the mystery of yesterday's unusual snowfall on a warm and sunny late afternoon. Shut up. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. All right. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Hey. Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Thanks, Yerdo. Kate Marsh, love you long time. Cute. That graffiti has been here forever. Flush before pissing on the floor. Good advice. I aim to misbehave. Thank you, redneck <laughs> poet. A kid I gay sucks dick. Same. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? I will, eh? What does that even say? Fire walk with me. Okay. Gross. Wait, 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 wait. What does it say? Rachel A owes me a BJ. So does your mom. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's Trevor again and Justin. Hey. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Did I? No, I actually didn't. Thought you were staring right at my face. I guess you know now, and so does Justin. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? Not yet. I need to get my coffee on too. And throw in a little green bud and you have the perfect hippie cocktail. You are so not a hippie. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. No, I didn't. Trevor I just said that. told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. See ya. about the fishing wall of fame. And 
And there she is. Lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. Where's Chloe? Like she's a um, waitress at two whales. She said she's she running late. Years. No, like you still look pretty. And I save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope well, not really. I mean, he's been at my school for like... How many weeks has he been there now? Man. Three weeks? Just, something? Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? That David's a dick. Chloe doesn't have to tell me anything. I just know how David is at Blackwell. You know what happened. David slapped Chloe. He fucked up. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess... I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. Mm. What do you want to eat? Ooh. Ooh. Tough choice. I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. Don't tell me what to do. One bacon omelet for the young lady, Stat. Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. You suck. I love the delicious dissipation of breakfast. I like bacon. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a the lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. Shut up, bacon's good. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Bacon is like the best thing ever. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Breakfast cheeseburger. Homestead eggs and bacon, why can't I get that? Why can I get eggs and bacon? Or pancakes? Damn it. Order ready. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. No Order beer. ready already, what damn. Kind of dive is this? That was quick. Incoming. This is like fourth to Waffles are the best. No, they're not. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. Bacon is the best. When I look at pictures of Chloe, oh. mm, Speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. 
put your whole damn college fund on your tab. You're better than baking. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. True. No, you're not. This is my treat. To you, for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire, smoking out. <laughs> oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. That's the worst fucking punishment you can ever you give someone. The same. Another reason to blow this town? <laughs> I bet you've blown half a town already, Chloe. Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about you love I True. don't have any explanation. I know you do. I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can do it. That's talking to think something that's not Tony Hawk game. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here. Now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. You have... A dildo. And fucking butt plug. Some old chewing gum? Nada. Not impressed. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. You need to look at the items and rewind so Chloe believes you. Uh, okay. So okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. She's got a panda keychain. Cigarettes. She's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cigarettes. Money. I don't fucking know American money. And a parking ticket. Oh, okay. Now what? Got it. I don't know how much money you've got if you ask me that because I don't know American money. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. Cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Your keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Um, uh, pen no, panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck call build. What else? Parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But, what is the exact time I was busted? 10.30. Four? Ten thirty-four a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. <laughs> I knew it was Even ten a something. Clock is right twice a day. So Whatever that's why I got it. Is. All right, and your money. Some money. Clearly, I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? I don't know. It is six. Eighty-six cents. <laughs> that's right. Living large in Arcadia Bay. Yes. I saw all those like copper, like the those like the dark ones. And it's about six of them, that's why I guessed 86. <laughs> Amaze balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. She said six, like, one pence or cents or whatever they're called there. You have powers. Yes. Look at that skill. <laughs> Take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. I'm great at video games. <laughs> I'm just food, so good. Max? Better I'm than I remembered. Very good save. Uh, and I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. 
Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Right. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Right. Oh, wait, what's that? This is, the best song I've this heard is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now right, I should okay, rewind okay. and tell Chloe everything okay. that just happened. <laughs> right, okay. I'm going to predict four events I've got this. that will happen in the next 30 seconds. I've so. got this. Uh. The truck the trucker. trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The cops and the lady when leaves, he answers he eats a donut. His part his partner his partner left in the car. The cop gets an emergency right. alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, let's yeah. just see how this goes down. Driver and Justin Fett and Joyce beats them. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wish. She encouraged and care she stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting. She tells them to, to take their fight club up. outside. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Damn, Chloe's eyes, eyes are shiny. Right. The jukebox goes crazy. The cockroach or butterfly a fly. The trucker plays it. It wasn't a butterfly and it wasn't a fly. So it was a cockroach. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach right. crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens. Well, I didn't fly, and I wasn't the trucker, so it has to be cockroach. Oops! Did you <laughs> break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh! Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. And he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a <laughs> dick. Don't slap you're dumb. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That was Trevor easy. And Justin must be in love. And there's the cockroach. The cockroach on the jukebox. I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. See, this I would be good at time travel thing. powers. That's what I should I have them. You have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever. You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Yes. Good idea. You made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. You didn't finish your breakfast. Chloe That's a waste of food. Anything. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. Yo, why did you drop your mug? Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. You're a dick. I don't feel like talking right now. I Fair gotta enough. deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over and out. Alright. Okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and who to do. Come on, before mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? 
I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Okay. I've got other people to hang out with too. Hello. Hey Kate, what's up? Please don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please go ahead. You are Actually, I rather would. I'm Let's be honest. With you, okay. For now, let's rock. Let's rock this cock. It sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not answer Kate. Nah. It's not like I won't see her in class later. Fuck. Chloe told me to answer it anyway. <laughs> 